This is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and we're going to take a look at five more stocks that should be in play this week. Okay, first let's take a look at ticker symbol NADL. Okay, first thing that we like here is the uh, RSI above 50 in the 50 to 70 bull zone. Uh, FASTO is in the 50 to 70 bull zone as well, so that, that is very good, very bullish. We have a bullish crossover on ADX with plus DI, minus DI. Notice the green line cross the black line to the upside, so that's showing that bulls are taking control. On the chart, what looks really good is this uh, move on Friday above the 100-day simple moving average, which is the green line, the 50-day simple moving average, which is the, uh, or, or the 100 is the, the gold, the 50 is the green, and then above the uh, EMAs 4, 8, and 13, and the middle Bollinger Band. So there, there was a close over these moving averages that have converged together. And so what we want to see now is a break above this descending resistance line, this red line, and, and above a close above this uh, December 29th closing price. If that happens, you know, and, and if that happens and that's lined up here, with the 300 day simple moving average, that'll be the next key resistance level. So we're thinking uh, if this middle Bollinger Band turns into support, that a new uptrend could begin here. Um, it's going to be above the 300 here and the 200 to head higher and test this uh, d December 13th uh, high close. And so the closing price on December 13th will be the uh, key level to break if there's a break above the 200 day simple moving average. Notice how the Bollinger Bands have gotten tight here. Um, the, the, the key is going to be holding the, the middle Bollinger band in the 50 day and the 100 if the candles break below that's going to signal downside risk so uh, notice the stock has been in a downtrend and the, and there had not been a close above the middle bullshit band until friday so that's what we always look for to signal a possible start of a new uptrend uh, notice it was the first green volume bar in six trading days and so what we're looking for now is a bullish volume spike we want to see volume enter behind the move we'd like to see a, a bullish crossover here on on macd and then notice there there was a double you know there was a crossover bearish Cross and then a crossover again on the 8135. So this is just signaling that 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 there, there could be a new uptrend starting. Want to see a, a bull cross here. So yeah, so keep an eye on NADL. It looks like uh, the uh, new uptrend could be starting. Another one to look at is OPXA. Okay, uh, this stock here is uh, below 50 on RSI. It's oversold right now in Fasto. Check it out. It's at 6.06. .06. That's extreme oversold levels. What you want to see is this black line crossing the red line to the upside. There was a, a bearish crossover here on ADX, so that that is a, a, a red flag when that happens. But what you want to see is you want to see this green line cross the black line back to the upside. This is just a one month chart. Notice how OPXA has been uh, trending sideways. This is a sideways channel. The the top of the channel is up here on the, on this close around 115. The bottom of the channel is down here in the in the in the 80s. And so what happened there was this uh, bullish inverted hammer formed on. Thursday and and what that that was a bullish reversal pattern and then that was followed with another bullish inverted hammer on on Friday and so uh, the, those are two reversal candles notice the uh, upper wick here um, it, it, they both formed above 50-day simple moving average support that's the green line here we want to see that that support level hold so there's five red candles in a row we're thinking a green candle's got to be coming um, you know how many red candles can it can it form notice the declining uh, volume pattern okay basically Basically, interest is faded here. Uh, sellers have tired, but it needs buyers to, to break through resistance. If it, if it closes below the 50-day simple moving average, that will be a red flag. It needs to get back above the, the middle Bollinger Band. So far, this is just a sideways trend. Until it breaks above this 115 and turns that level into support, expect that trend to continue. Um, yeah, so, so keep an eye on OPXA. We think that that could be a bounce play. AVXL is another one to keep an eye on. Uh, th this has nice uh, uh, RSI in the 50 to 70 bull zone. Uh, Fasto is in the 50 to 70, 80 bull zone as well. So they're both looking bullish right now. And then on ADX, plus DI is above 80, uh, ADX and uh, minus DI. So that, that, that's bullish, except there was, there was a down tick. Um, this is a, a tight Bollinger Band play. Uh, notice the, the sideways channel. So this, the candles have been forming sideways. Uh, you know, there was actually a, uh, um, they were coming to a flex point here. 
um, you could draw a trend line across the across the bottom and, and notice how the, uh, the there was a, a horizontal resistance and and ascending support the, the, this ascending triangle was coming to a flex point and then it got to a point here where where it hit hit uh, th this 200 day simple moving average notice how, how that had been resistance they kept bumping against bumping against bumping against and then finally on Thursday there was a close above that level there was another close above the 200 day simple moving average on Friday so it looks like this sideways trend could be breaking and 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 so what we want to see now is we want to see candles stay above the 200 and, and and it looks like there could be a run to this 300 day simple moving average if there's a break above the 300 it could possibly run back to this 490 level the high close on December 12th so th this keep an eye on e AVXL it looks like it could be uh, breaking this trend that has been going on for six weeks straight there was this volume bar here on Thursday so this looks like a, a, a load a, a preload before a breakout notice how uh, MACD is pinched you want to see a bullish crossover if MACD crosses over that should signal a new uptrend is starting if, if the candles get if the share price gets up here and hits 458 there will be a PSR bull flip okay so uh, AVXL is another one and then keep an eye on BAS uh, BAS it looks like it's got a nice chart going on right now um, if you look here at, at uh, RSI RSI is uh, was below 30 for an extended period of time for multiple weeks and then right here it ended up uh, uh, closing above 30 at the, at the end of the week here at 30.58 and it had been for an extended period of time so it looks like the chart is starting to heat up um, notice that uh, Fasto got above 50 and, and above uh, uh, 80 actually there was a bearish crossover there there but it, you know it's just showing you that, that the chart is heating up after this big gap down so take a look here this is what happened there was a, a, a giant gap down here in, in December and uh, since that time, the candles had been uh, trending sideways. And, and what that, uh, what, what we always look for on this kind of pattern is a break above EMA four. That happened, and then now there's a, a close above EMA eight, the bottom of the gap. That's going to be this key level to break. If there can be a close above the bottom of the gap, there could be a run up here to EMA thirteen. Um, the middle Bollinger Band will be the, the key level to get above to get a new uptrend. You know, that's a huge gap. These are big numbers now. This used to be a penny stock. Uh, What's impressive is that this is a, a $42 stock and two million dollars or two million shares traded. So you're looking at you know uh, you know probably nearly 80 million dollars worth of uh, stock exchanged hands on Friday. So there's big money moving into this trade now. You know remember this was just a penny stock not long ago, and you know they did the reverse split. But this is what what you know now there's big interest. There's new players, and um, you can see here there was a MACD bullish crossover, and there was a crossover earlier on the 8:13 and 5. Okay, and and we go. Uh, there's another one here. The last one on this video is AMRS. Okay, AMRS is down here, bouncing off of 30. Um, what, what, what's important here? Okay, it's oversold on Fasto. Um, look for a break above 20. Um, you know, it's not looking good on ADX. That doesn't look good. So this is a a, a downtrend. Um, look at all the the red candles in a row. So there there was uh, s seven red candles in a row, and then on Friday there there a bullish reversal pattern formed. Uh, uh, bullish Jeremy reversal pattern formed and this is a um, you know this is a pretty good reversal pattern and, and um, what happened was it came down here and it found the support line look at the, uh, descending support off of the bottom of these candles so it's hitting this key level and it's also hitting the 200 day simple moving average which held in the past as well so what we're looking for now we want to see that hold and we want to see a close above EMA 4 if that happens there could be a run back up to EMA 8 in the in the 100 day simple moving average once it gets above that middle Bollinger Band, that's when it could go back and, and test these other moving averages. So uh, th this is a, a, a pattern. You notice how the pattern's been been heading down. So right now it's at the bottom of the channel. So if the pattern continues, you know this should make a move back up towards the middle Bollinger Band. Once again, look for a volume spike. Um, we talk a lot about uh, bullish crossovers. This is an example of the bearish crossover when the MACD line crosses the signal line to the downside. So yeah, so keep an eye on AMRS for potential follow through. All right, if you like these charts, check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.